Let's put you all on the road to glory by talking about how you win at the game of Hawk. So one way is to make wise decisions, especially near the end. So let's say you have 90 points. How do you best choose how many dice to roll? Well, you'll have to ask the question, what's the chance that I'll roll at least K points using N six-sided dice? So you're 10 points away, you want to score at least 10 points, then you win the game. How do you know what's the probability of doing that? Well, here's the formula. You count up the number of ways to score at least K points by rolling N dice. And then you also want to count the number of possible different rolls you could have and divide one by the other. So the number of possible rolls with n dice that are six sided is six raised to the nth power. That one's easy. What about the top line? The number of ways to score at least k in n rolls can be computed using our friend tree recursion. What we do is we sum over each possible dice outcome that doesn't pig out, so no ones. And what we're summing is the number of ways to score at least k minus d points using the rest of our rolls, n minus 1. So two things can happen that reach a base case. Either we reach our threshold of k, at which point the number of ways to score at least 0 points is 5 to the power of n. Why does that mean? Well, 5 is the number of ways that you can continue rolling without pig out, and n is the number of dice you have left over after you've already reached the threshold, meaning k is 0. The other base case is that you don't make it. So the number of ways to score some positive number of points when you only have 0 rolls left is just 0. So that's a description of a tree recursive process. Let's write it down. Okay. So the ways to roll at least k points in n rolls. This is the numerator of the fraction we're interested in. Well, we have two base cases. If k, the amount we're trying to reach, is less than or equal to zero, meaning we've already reached our goal, then we just return five to the n. Otherwise, if k is positive, but we don't have any rolls remaining, we return zero. Finally, we're going to iterate over all the possible die outcomes. So we need the total number of ways to roll at least k, using n, and then we're going to have the dice outcome d. So this starts at 0, and the dice outcome starts at 2, and then it's going to work its way up to 6. So 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all valid dice rolls that don't pig out. We'll take our total and add to it the result of a recursive call of k minus d, because d is what we just rolled, and then n minus 1. Okay, so now we have a new total. d we're going to increment, and then we'll return total at the end. Now, we don't just want the ways to roll, we want the chance to roll at least k using n dice which I told you is the ways to roll at least k divided by 6 raised to the nth power. Well, let's see how we did. What's the chance to roll at least 10 points if I use only 5 dice? It's a 40% chance that we'll reach at least 10. What if I use 7 dice? Well, there the probability goes down because there's so much of a higher chance of pigging out. 
And what if I use only three dice? Well, that's actually an even higher chance than using five because the chance of picking out is low and it's easy to get to 10 points using three dice. Now there's another way to compute the same thing. We could just use random samples. So from the hog project, I could import make averaged and then I could define uh, roll at least k comma n just by calling the roll dice function. So if rolling n dice is greater than or equal to k, then that means I rolled at least k. Otherwise, I didn't. Now using 1 and 0 here allows me to try an averaged version of that to get the probability of rolling at least k with n dice. Okay, so let's load this up. Now, in order to have a function that's equivalent to chance to roll at least, but using make averaged, which will run a bunch of random samples, we just call make averaged on the roll at least function, which is actually going to simulate rolling the dice themselves. So what's the chance of rolling at least 10 using five dice well, the random sampling tells me that it's 0.404, not that far from our exact answer up here of 401. What if I use seven dice? Well, now we think it's 0.3, but if I tried it a few more times, I might get a number closer to the true answer of 0.279. And if I roll only three dice, well, there you see a number very close to the true answer of 0.486. So the sampling version that we've created with make average in your project can get you to the answer, but if you want the true exact probability of how to roll at least 10, then you need to use tree recursion.